G'day, I'm Andy Hamilton, uh, CEO of the Ice House. I'm a father, I'm a husband. I have two gorgeous daughters who are six and eight, and I got UFB about two months ago. To be able to actually come home, see the kids, and then once they're in bed, uh, sit there and do some work without download, upload issues, but then separately, we Skype a lot to Australia and up to New York just because we've got one of my ex-employees and family friends living up there now. New York, seven o'clock. We could have, you know, an iPhone, we could have a, um, my own phone, a couple of tablets and an iMac all going at the same time. Once I saw Telecom put some offers out for UFB, I basically got on the phone and used the 0800 number and said, hey, I want it. And you know, what I was amazed with was the next day I had a phone call from Cora saying, we'd like to arrange the install within five days, which was pretty cool, because I'd heard that it could take anywhere from three to eight hours. And I thought, of course, our house, which had been renovated, already had the tunnels underneath, would be in that three hour range. Guys arrived. I checked in about halfway through the day, they were still going, having a few challenges. I got home at 6 o'clock and at 10 o'clock they left. And you know, they were fantastic in the way that they problem solved, but it just made me reflect, you know, who's paying for this? Because I wasn't paying for it, it's free. The installation process depends on the house, so every house is different. Basically what we do is we run the fibre from a point from outside of the house to the inside and then from there we do the internal wiring. Customers can shorten the installation process by helping us figure out where they would like the home hub to be situated. In a fibre world we would like it to be situated in the middle of the house as opposed to somewhere in the corner. I think a couple of things have changed since we've got UFB. First thing is, is just I don't get frustrated as much with dropout, latency and, and downtime. I think the other thing that, that has changed as well is, is that we're using Skype video a lot more. In the past with work and with personal, we wouldn't use the video because it would just drop out. How was the diabetes convention? It's amazing how doctors were just so engaged by the characters, like we had them there and they were all asking for photos and like it's just so exciting. If I think about going forward in the future, how we might use it more, I think more video, more collaboration, uh, more downloading of movies, as I want to be able to back up the files, the music, everything to the cloud. I'll give you a really good example. My dad's just moved into a retirement village and the four boys in that family have just dealt with all of his home stuff and, and all of the photos. So we're all scanning those photos and we're wanting to keep those forever rather than letting them just go into various homes. There's a great opportunity with UFB around what other future apps, what other future things could use to enhance my experience. Once you get it, you actually have the opportunity to explore what it can actually do for you. You can't beat the speed and the improvement in latency and efficiency that you get with it. I think it's something about being part of this connected world, and that's pretty cool. I would never have thought that I'll make it here.